Simeon 0 for 4 yesterday, but he got on base twice via errors. And Maeda, that little hesitation, and the pitch lifted deep out to left field, and that one back to the wall. It's gone! They figured the Rangers were due. They weren't going to go an entire series without a home run, especially with all the power that's been suppressed in this lineup. That's a way to get it started. Jack Leiter making his major league debut. Four seam fastball, slider, curveball, cutter, changeup. Here we go. And his first pitch of his big league career. A good fastball right in there for strike one. The guys on the bench calling for that ball. Leiter tosses it aside, and that one will be preserved. The right hander's 0 2, and he puts it right in there. Strike three called. And Jack Leiter on three pitches picks up his first big league strikeout. So here's Garcia. 4-4 the score, one out. 2-2, two -two and Garcia hits one high and deep to left center field. Green and Veerling back. They turn, they look, out of here! Adolis Garcia leaves the yard, visiting his friends in the Rangers' bullpen with a solo shot. And the Rangers reclaim the lead with their third home run of the game. It's 5-4. to four. So runners at first and second now for the three-hole hitter, Terry Carpenter. Carpenter gives it a ride, center field. Tavares is back at the track. He didn't make the catch. He couldn't find the ball, thank you very much. Triples galore, 7-6. I'm not sure exactly what happened here. Taking a look at the flag now, the wind is blowing out. Tavares didn't do a good job of getting back. And you can see Jack Leiter, he can't believe Tavares didn't make the play at all. But the Tigers will take it. And that will do it for Jack Leiter's big league debut. Just short of getting through the fourth inning, this ball game tied at seven. Huge break for the Rangers. Let's see if they can take advantage. Seeger, two hits already today, bounces it first base. Torkelson from his knees goes to second, and that one goes off the glove. Everybody is safe. A run is scored, and the Rangers on top, 8-7. Just teams taking advantage of mistakes, defensive mistakes. And the Rays have their first base run. And here's Ahmed Rosario on one and one. Line drive down the right field line. Fair ball towards the corner. Moniak goes to chase it. Has trouble in the corner. Palacios loses his helmet. Around third heads for home. He will score. Rosario slides into third with a triple. And the Rays take a one nothing lead. Now the infield comes in with runner at third and one out. And here's Harold Ramirez. Shot into right. Moniak in line to make the catch. Rosario will tag and head to the plate in the Rays pick up their second run on to the sixth inning Mike Trout about to lead off for the Los Angeles Angels and there's ball four that one just a little bit high Trout's running Sano takes ball one no chance to get Trout stolen base number four and that was an easy one for Trout now he's trying for third three pitches a strike the throw is too high and there's the fifth stolen base for Trout in the month of April high throw but Trout Getting in the scoring position. It's a high fly to right field. It'll be deep enough to score Trout. Palacios backing up, getting in position, makes the catch. Trout on his way to the plate as the throw comes in. But Mike Trout scores standing up. And the Angels get on the board thanks to two steals from Trout. The Angels have the tying run in scoring position. Brandon Drury, who has been slowed by a hamstring injury over the last few days, just as he was really starting to swing the bat well. Pochet's pitch. Swing ground ball wide to third. Meade's got it. Goes to second, and the Rays have won it. Fielder's choice ground ball to third. Ends it, and the Rays win this one 2-1. to one. They go to 11-9 on the year. 4-1 to one. Cleveland. Tyler Freeman leads off for the guards here in the sixth inning. And Freeman swings and hammers one. And this ball is off the green monster. In the second with a stand-up double, Tyler Freeman. Take advantage of it. Get him over, get him in. So now Ramon Laureano infield in with one down. Swing and a line drive, base hit in the left. Ramon Laureano knocks in Tyler Freeman to make it five to one Cleveland. And the Red Sox now with two on and two out for Jaron Duran. Swing and a drive into the gap in right center field. That is going to head for the triangle. McGuire scores. Rafaela burning around. He will score. It's a two run triple for Jaron Duran. The Sox are back in it. It's five to three. Made it easily to third. All this happening with two out and brings up Casas with a man at third. And a right hander's one two pitch. Oh, and he's tumbled. And that is a balk. 
and that's going to bring in another run. Here comes Duran, and the Red Sox have pulled within one. Five to four, Cleveland. Here we go to the bottom of the ninth. Emmanuel Classe to pitch. The Sox may be down to their last man. Here's Casas. Book it. Classe nails it down. The Guardians take it by a run and win three out of four at Fenway. It's the Giants' ace, Logan Webb, taking the mound here at home. The pitch. Swing and a miss. High fastball, and he tried to check his swing. It was too late. It's been Logan Webb all the way. Gave up a couple of hits to the first two hitters of the game, and none since then. Jock Peterson almost oh. clipped Logan Webb right there. Ahmed behind the bag, and there's one pitch, one out in the seventh for Webb, who has now set down 19 consecutive batters. With one out, another power hitter comes up, a Eugenio Suarez. And Walker, they got him picked off. And he's out. Well, that helps. I mean, you look at the bottom of Walker's shoes, and his shoes are now flat because of the the dirt. Now a swing, ground ball to third. Chapman's got it. Here's the throw to first. Inning over. Seven strong for Logan Webb. To Gabriel Moreno, right-handed hitter, has grounded out to second and to short. He's 0 for two. A little poke shot. Lee and Yastrzemski, and yes, makes a catch. What a play. Out of nowhere. I mean, and that's with Jung Hoo Lee dashing in front of him. That was just a terrific play. Still one nothing Giants as they try to open up this game. A great opportunity to do it. Flores, the pinch hitter for Conforto. Flores down the left field line. Into the corner. It's a fair ball all the way to the wall. One run is in Lee. Wade scores around the third. So Hit for Wilmer Flores makes it three nothing Giants. Bases still loaded. Here is Yastrzemski. Lefty versus lefty. Line drive base hit to right field. One run is in. Two runs are in. Around to third base goes Chapman. Holding it first is Yastrzemski. And that opens it up considerably. It is now five to nothing Giants. For more on these and other stories, keep it locked to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.